the Google Stadia. This is honestly just mad. We're binge watching all of these movies. What is up guys? How is it going? And welcome to the vlog. Now, a while ago, we got sent this laser pen. Now, this laser pen is so strong that it can even pop balloons. And we just thought it was absolutely epic. We had the most amazing fun with now, it. Now, the same company actually does this thing called a laser dock. Now, this laser dock can pretty much do anything. It displays these incredibly powerful lasers. It can display things like text. It can display games, puzzles, pictures, like everything. And it's just absolutely insane. And I was like, you know what? Like, I need to show you this because this is gonna blow your mind. Now this is the laser dock and that is where the laser comes out. Now lasers are incredibly dangerous. If it actually hits your eye, it will make you go blind. So never play with these types of things. This machine has two on switches. That is how crazy it is. You have a key that you have to turn to turn it on as well because that just shows you how dangerous this is. Laser radiation, avoid eye or skin exposure to direct or indirect radiation, class four laser product. I have no idea what that means, but that sounds scary. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on. Are we ready? Beep. And we're gonna turn the key as well. Oh, there we are. The laser dock is now on. So we're gonna turn the laser on. Are we ready? And the first thing we're actually gonna be using is this abstract effect that actually moves when you speak. So imagine this in like a club or a party when you're when the music's pumping. You've got all these crazy lights everywhere. And I think you could actually do it so that you could, you could probably program this laser to like do complete outlines of things and do like awesome videos. I, I don't even know what it's called. Is it, is it is like imagery? It's like projection mapping. So we're gonna turn it on, are we ready? Can you see that as well? Yep. Three, two, one. Whoa, look at that. Woo, yeah, oh yeah. Let's play, let's play a bit of music. And then what we can do, we can actually change the color of it. Ready? Whoa, look at that. Evie, look at that. That is really cool. Yeah. Right, okay. And by the way, we're having to use uh, royalty-free music so we don't get copyrighted. So on here, we also have loads of different like visualizers. Um, so you can do things like a black hole. Like, look at that. Crazy, crazy hey, black, black hole. hole. Apparently, that's a black hole. Yeah, CV. That does not look like a Bubbles. <laughs> like Chaos. Woo! Um, and then you've got things like a cube, like... So then we've got like grid stuff, this stuff is cool. Let me, uh, let me, let me continue with some music. Let's switch it up a bit. Let's do... Look at that! I think we need to turn the lights off. How cool is that? It's so cool. So it's got things, this is Hydra, which I think is pretty cool. It almost looks like the Razor logo. Um, we've got particles that just like come up. Um, a snake, a slippery snake. Then we have this, okay, this is so cool. So we've had to switch cameras so you can actually see it properly because the shutter was all over the place. But look at that, that is how cool it looks. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna change to a Samba dancer. Samba, Samba, Samba. Samba, Samba, Samba. Uh, what about, this is called, a, oh, a freak dance. <laughs> the EDM dance, the double dance. We got a cheerleader. Like, how cool is that? And we can also make it really, like, we can make a really small, look, look at that. And then really big. How cool is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, so this is Beatles. John Lennon. John Lennon. Celebration. Some of them don't work like properly. That's going to be a cocktail glass. Uh, cooking. <laughs> That's interesting. Falling. 
apparently. We can draw things, like we can draw Evie looking very beautiful. Are you drawing my eyes? I'm drawing you. That looks like something else. What, boobies? Oh my goodness, that, what is that? I'm drawing you. This is your teeth. And then you just got crazy hair everywhere. <laughs> look at that. Whoa, you, you look cool. You know? And then we got things like a piano, so we could go. Yeah, there's only two notes I can do. Oh, we got text! Like, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. Hit that subscribe button. Wow, the spiraling tunnel, the symmetry flip. See, these things are so cool. Like, look at that. The vortex. These are discs. I don't think there is a heart here. You can draw one. Okay, I'm going to draw a heart. Um, oh god, there's Evie. Uh, <laughs> let's let's delete that. Okay, right. So we got. Oh my god, what was that, Ollie? It's a heart with. An arrow through it. That's not bad. That's pretty good, you know. Okay, so we've had a little bit of fun with that. Now I want to see what it would be like if it was kind of in a club and if we had a smoke machine. Because we do have a smoke machine. <laughs> It is finally here and I am so excited. The Google Stadia, yes. They sent me one of these. This is the uh, the Founders Edition. I've even got my name on the side. Look, Ollie White right there. I have honestly been so excited for this to come out. When I heard rumors about it and I heard it was coming out, I was literally like, oh my word, surely not. Like, that's not possible. The thing I love about this the most is that there's no console at all. All you get inside when you open it up is the controller. This is is everything. Because essentially what you're doing with the Stadia is you are streaming the game from the servers. So you're streaming the games from the Google servers so that you don't have to deal with all the hardware. Now there are potential couple of problems with this being if you don't have a powerful internet speed, it might cause problems with lag or the quality of the video. So I've been playing the Stadia for the last couple of days and I haven't really experienced any problems at all. There was a lot of reports online that it was laggy, the quality wasn't great and it was just being a bit buggy and there was errors. But so far, I honestly have nothing bad to say about it and I, I love everything about it. They're also integrating the Google Assistant here. It's not working just yet, but it'll be integrated and uh, I think it's really cool, really, really cool to have a voice activated controller. So let's head over to the TV and uh, let's have a little play. So this is all you need and this comes in the box and it's a Google Chromecast and uh, it's literally as simple as plugging it in, plugging it into a HDMI and you're good to go. So not only can you play the Stadia on the Google Chromecast, you can play it on any Google Chrome browser, which I think is incredible because there's so many times where I'll be playing in here in the living room and then I'll be like, oh, you know what, I want to I want to kind of play on my office now and rather than taking out the console or having to have a, another console, you literally just start up your Chrome browser and you're playing and you can play on your phone. So you literally can play on the go, wherever you are. All you need is a controller. Now this is what the Stadia app looks like on the phone. Um, we can Chromecast it to the TV, which uh, we've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey on at the moment. We can also do things like connect for the controller. If you've got a new controller and it's not connecting for some reason, hopefully this one's connected. Is this controller gonna connect or is it connected? 
I think it's connected. So you've got your friends here, which I don't have any at the moment. You've also got your account. And I just love how simple this is. It's just so simple. Even on the TV as well, when I click the menu start button, uh, it comes up with, we've got my name here, the connection, the controller, the audio and the party. And that's it. That's all, that's all that there is. You can scroll down here. I've got another game, Destiny 2. But I just love how simple it is. You can just literally go, right, let's play, boom streaming straight away this hasn't downloaded the game at all this isn't playing it from a console all we've got is a controller and a google chromecast and that for me is just amazing i think it's epic and here we are we're in the game um i don't know what i've been doing i've been running around trying to assassinate people but it's smooth it's clear i mean it's amazing to think that this is like streaming in real time from servers like it really is and i love it it's a great game also, love the game. So on the connection, it says excellent. We've got an excellent connection. And it says the best visual quality with Pro, we've got 4K and HDR. So that is what it's playing at right now. And now let's say Evie wants to watch something on the TV. She won't let me play my game anymore. Well, you know what? We bring it in here, we bring it in the office without having to bring anything and move anything in here except for just the controller we're set up here straight away to play assassin's creed the only thing you will need when playing on a computer is an actual cable plugged into the controller and plugged into the computer they are working on the wireless at the moment so hopefully that'll be out very soon and here we are i literally all i did was click play and we've launched it straight away and now we're playing in the office this is crazy now i will say from this tv to the other tv the graphics on this are not not as good they're not as good but for this being streamed and having to not wait for any downloads anything like that it's pretty it's pretty flipping good it's pretty pretty good i'm already a massive fan for this and i cannot wait for there to be more games released and just to see like what other things they can bring out it's just it's, it's so good really really good after playing this for a bit the, the the quality has actually got so much better so i think it was just like sorting out the uh, connection speed and the download for it but now it's actually even even clearer. You know, this is this is flipping great. I love this. Now, what if we wanted to play the Stadia on the road on our mobile device? So currently they're only supporting the Pixel 2, Pixel 3, Pixel 3a, Pixel 4 for the mobile gameplay and tablets running Chrome OS and more devices will be made available in the future. Uh, however, purchasing games and managing your content can be done from any iOS device and Android device that can still run the Stadia app. We are in luck because we have the Google Pixel. So let's play on this and see what it's like. So we've got our controller connected up. Let's play. And here we are. We're now playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the phone. Like what? <laughs> this is insane. Like oh my god like i'm playing a full-blown game on the phone this is just crazy this is honestly just mad i'm i'm so impressed like i want to now play like all of my games on stadia because like why wouldn't you you haven't got like a massive like fan like whirling around in the background the playstation overheating you know you're literally streaming all of this content. Now it's like, right, okay, well I finished I finished on the phone. What if I now want to jump onto the onto the computer? Well let's click play and let's uh, switch over. Look at that! That's literally switched over from where I stopped on the phone. So we just plug this in. And look, here we are, we're going. That is unbelievable. That really is crazy. So you can literally switch from the TV going into Chrome browser on your phone, like just like that. And you can literally continue where you left off on the last device. I love it, this is my new favorite thing. Also the Stadia is gonna be so useful for in the bedroom, this TV, because there are some times where I'm like, oh, you know what, I'd love to, love to sit on the bed, you know, play some video games, but I can't because literally the TV's on the wall and then behind it, well, it's a bit crazy, but all these things are sort of stacked up here and there's nowhere to put a PlayStation or Xbox and also I don't have a spare one to put in here and just the power of it, it would just be whirling through the night, like it would just be so loud. And all I'd need to do is connect a Chromecast to here and then I can literally play the Stadia just like that. So I can switch from playing in 
the bedroom and then in the living room and then in the office if I wanted and if I'm on the go on my phone boom that's how you do it this is a day full of presents because we've just got something else da, 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 from Marvel wow this is cool Marvel Studios here we know you're a big Marvel fan and we wanted you to be one of the first to have your hands on the new Marvel Studios Cinematic Universe Phase 3 Part 2 box set on Blu-ray oh, that was a mouthful the final installment begins with Black Panther and ends with Spider-Man Far From Home that's not all the box set is also loaded with extras bonus footage the original film poses and stunning McFerguson art cards. We also want you to have phase one, two, and three part one box sets from the Infinity Saga so you have the entire collection. Wow! Yes, I am a Marvel fan. And now we've got all of them. Whoa, Cinematic Universe Phase 3. Phase 3. Phase 2. Phase 1. Right. We're binge watching all of these movies in one day. Well, we're going to attempt to. And there we are, guys. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I really want you to let me know in the comment section below. What do you firstly think about the laser dock? And secondly, what do you think about the Google Stadia? Are you going to get one? Hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. And I will see you guys very, very soon with another vlog. See ya!